So that Kodak moment of all those uh, Shinde Sena MLAs, where are they actually from? I mean, it's become such a, uh, such a cloud of names and faces. How do we know where they're actually from? Where, you know, their, their constituents must be missing them. Take a look at where all these uh, rebel MLAs are from. At least four of them are from Mumbai, six of them are from Thane, so four from Mumbai, six from Thane, three from the Raigad region of Maharashtra, five are from Western Maharashtra, eight of them are from the Marathwada region, politically important Marathwada region, three of them are from Vidarbha, which includes uh, Nagpur, six are from North Maharashtra, bordering Gujarat, and two are from Konkan in southern Maharashtra, coastal southern Maharashtra. Now, everything has been happening so far on the political battlefield. But what if this now goes to court? What if one of the sides approaches court to get their way? What is the legal perspective on how things can play out? We break it down for you. Take a look. The Shinde Sena versus Uddhav Sena battle is now in the most crucial leg. The battle to be declared the real Shiv Sena. Eknath Shinde is going in for the kill. He is all set to parade his MLAs before the Maharashtra Deputy Speaker to prove that he has 37 Sena MLAs with him. That's two-thirds of the party's strength in the House. But it won't be a walk in the park as the Uddhav Sena has demanded the disqualification of 16 MLAs including Eknath Shinde. And that's why one man perhaps will decide the next course of action, if it will be advantage Udhav or advantage Shinde. Maharashtra doesn't have a speaker yet. And so it's Deputy Speaker Narhari Zilwal who has all the powers of the speaker and will take a call on who wins round one. He will take a decision on whether to uphold Uddhav's petition to disqualify the rebels or to act to the resolution letter sent by Shinde with the signature of 37 MLAs. कानून में जो जैसा होगा वैसा करूंगा वैसा तो लगता है वो जज करने के लिए उसको सामने बुलाना पड़ेगा देखूंगा मैं अभी पढ़ रहा हूं क्या-क्या है वो उसके बाद मैं डिसीजन लूंगा for now, the deputy speaker has delivered one blow to Eknath Shinde. He's recognized MLAs from the Udhav Sena camp as the party's legislative party leader and the chief whip. So is Shinde staring at disqualification along with a handful of his colleagues who've been targeted by Udhav Sena? According to the 10th schedule, if an MLA gives up membership of the party voluntarily or joins another party, he or she can be disqualified. Also, if the MLA votes or abstains from voting in contradiction to the party's stand, he or she again faces disqualification. The only exception to these rules, if two-thirds of the party decides to switch, like Shinde has managed. पूरे सभी विधायक जो है उनकी मीटिंग बुलानी पड़ती है और मेजॉरिटी से गठनेता तय किया जाता है वो एक तो इल्लीगल गठनेता बनाया है Shinde Sena has another trick up their sleeve to take on the deputy speaker. On June 21st, they filed a notice to remove Zirwal as the deputy speaker for removing Shinde as the legislative party leader without consulting the Sena MLAs. And using this notice, there's a reminder being sent across to the deputy speaker now that he cannot decide on the disqualification, citing a 2016 Supreme Court order, which said that no decision can be taken if the deputy speaker's position as the speaker is being challenged. It's clear the fight for power in Maharashtra is no cakewalk and will be a threefold one in the courts, in the assembly, and in the election commission. जिस प्रकार से भारतीय जनता पार्टी हर स्टेट में जहां बीजेपी का शासन नहीं है वहां की सरकारें तोड़ फोड़ कर अपनी सरकार बनाना चाहती है सो हु विल इमर्ज विक्टर इन द महा गेम ऑफ थ्रोन्स शिंदे हैज द नंबर्स उद्धव हैज द लेगेसी एंड बोथ आर अनरिलेंटिंग इन देयर फाइट टू बी डिक्लेयर्ड द रियल शिवसेना विद नलिनी शर्मा ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टुडे